tribe. It's a it's a magazine actually. All right. See. Um. So do you want to you want to start? I mean, we got a couple questions. Oh, we can ask. Yeah. I'll answer questions if people want. Hey, Jay Muse, what is up, man? Love your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, bummed about uh, this is from Dordo three. I'm bummed they can't uh, that Clerks three is not happening. It's uh, but it has nothing to do with. There's really nothing we could do about it. One of the uh, cast members we can't say didn't want to do it. Believe it or not, like um, money was there. The script Kevin wrote the script. It was amazing. Uh, super stoked and was like we were straight up looking at locations and stuff. And it, I don't know. I was very excited about it because. Again, I don't want to explain, uh, tell about the script, because who knows, maybe one day it could happen. Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. but the way it's set up and, and what the movie was about, there'd be lots of people throughout the movie, like hundreds of people. Um, like cameos and, and stuff? Well, just uh, where the world that it's set up in, it was, it was what was going on there would be like at least a hundred people throughout it's hard to explain so it was a big cast, but i'm just it, it, and a lot of them be would be extras but again it would have been a lot of fun like a lot of day players a lot of a lot of cameos but a lot of uh just extras too just hanging out but it would have been a lot of fun but uh yeah someone didn't want to do it um, and they were really crucial, the, one of the main characters, so it couldn't happen without that person. Then Kevin was thinking Mole Rats. He wrote the Mole Rats script, uh, which that movie was awesome too. But Universal owns the rights to Mole Rats, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to give us the rights to it. And they didn't want to make it. So That's frustrating. It is. It is because we Especially just figured. wrote the script. Well, too. the bummer is, is like, look, if you don't want to make it, that's totally understandable. They're like, look, we don't want to put five, six, seven, eight, ten million bucks into a movie uh, that we just don't want to do. But you would think they'd be like, well, we're not going to make the movie, so here's the rights back. But I guess yeah, Universal was saying that they've never given the rights of a title that they own back to anybody, even if it's just sitting on the so it's shelf. it's just like standard practice. Yeah, so they wouldn't do it. So now it looks like if all goes well, um, it's written and it's j being read. As last I heard, it's being read. Um, and and uh, a, a schedule and uh, budget is being put together to give to Miramax for a Jay and Silent Bob movie. Oh, Jay damn. and Silent Bob reboot. Kevin tweeted and Facebooked and did his whole thing oh, uh, on think. the cover of the script because he finished his script and wanted people to see it. So there's that. Uh, question answered and more given because <laughs> he asked Please about Clark's. <laughs> well, he asked about Clark's, but I wanted to give the whole full story of it. Um, right. How about Dashboard Rage? What the heck is this? Um, this is the internet, my friend. <laughs> the also, internet is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you explain, well, I guess. It's a, yeah. it's a little little interview with uh, with Jay here, and we're just uh, talking about life. Life, <laughs> Life goals, gaming, entertainment, media, the internet. Uh, regular thing. We do this every Friday. Thank you for stopping by. I think you're new. I haven't seen you around before. But we will be playing video games, so that will be more exciting if you don't want to just sit here and watch three people talk, <laughs> which not everyone does. I mean, some people are like, oh, cool, I can do the Q&A piece. Um, but yeah, so we. But when we get to the games, it could be a little more action, a little more fun for you. Boiling Toast asks, "How was meeting Johnny Depp?" Uh, that was awesome. Um, when did you awesome. do that? Was that? Yeah. So he was in Yoga Hosers and uh, also oh. on Tusk. I'm doing that thing, babe. Sorry. Is everything okay? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's the wife. We're literally live right now. I shouldn't be talking, but I want to make sure everything's okay. That's a that's a good husband, right there. He's on. Yeah, his, I love he's you, Mike. Game. Sorry, just the uh, the wife now with the show. No, no. Wow, sh don't you might watch this. Um, so sorry, with the, the child, there's a picture of her for anyone. She's that, a little nug. Yeah, so I just, now with the baby, like whenever the wife calls, usually I'd be like, oh, I'll just answer and call her back. But because the baby, I get so worried because I just would never want to not answer a call. And she's like, hey, the baby fell and she's hurt or something it's scary. But anyway, sorry for answering the phone. Um, what was I? What were we talking okay. about? Uh, we were talking about. Well, hold on. Now we've got we got some more. Some but more I thought we were talking. About, I thought I was in the middle oh, of. Oh, Johnny Depp. Yoga Johnny Hosers. Depp. Sorry, Johnny <laughs> Depp was honestly was awesome because uh, I'm a huge fan of, of course, uh, a bunch of his stuff. Twenty One Jump Street, 
being number one. Um, and so just to, to, I honestly think, do think he's one of the be- be- better actors in the world because, like, I've seen him in... He's really versatile. Yeah, like, yeah. he's been in Fear and The Pirates, Damn. Fear and Loathe, like, so many different types of movies, different characters, and he always plays them super awesome and different and all that. So anyway, he's a great actor, I feel. So it was really cool, and not only did I, if people haven't seen Yoga Hosers, I got to do a cameo playing Rogue Cop, um, <laughs> which is funny. Kevin just wrote it at that, as that because at our we do a live podcast um, that we tour with called Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. Kevin and I have been doing it for almost five years, um, and we uh, yeah we tour around. We do it live in front of a live audience. But anyway, someone asked me what kind of role I've, I've really been wanting to play. And I told I told him uh, I answered with really saying cop. I would like to play a, in a movie like playing a cop or something. Then I said, you know what, like a road cop. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that that's what, and then Kevin. So when Kevin wrote the character, it's small. Uh, he wrote road cop. But yes, I got to do a scene with Johnny Depp. Um, it was nerve wracking. I was nervous, but it was fun. It was lots of fun. It was really sweet getting to work with him again because uh, you know I'm a fan and. Uh, think he's amazing so there it is that's how that's i awesome. felt about that it's awesome you just directed a movie didn't you i did i directed a movie uh we did six days in la and then a few weeks later uh that was like november end of november i think and then in january i went to london for three weeks well i was there a month but for three weeks we shot uh in london it's being edited now i actually talked to the editor and the producer today um they're coming out in a couple weeks for me to uh, start sitting down with the editor. He's doing like a rough cut. Right. And then I'm going to sit and give my, my bit of business. But it was a blast. So I got... Ran to you at the coffee shop? Those, those guys you were doing the movie yeah, with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's... it's uh, they're, they're good dudes. And uh, I, it turned out really well. I mean... I haven't seen any of the stuff, but I feel like the, 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 <laughs> I'm saying, I haven't seen, well, what I'm saying is day I'm by day, yeah, day by day, the the stuff got shot that we need to get shot. I got, I feel like we got good stuff. I'd watch playback. I'd get to see the dailies, which is you know what you shot the two days, three days before you get to watch. So I've seen stuff. I just haven't seen it put together. Is what I meant. Like Kevin does. Kevin is editor and director and writer and. He'll it's literally crazy. work all day and then come to the hotel or wherever the editing machine is um, and edit like till three in the morning and then wake up at six and direct all day. Jeez. It's crazy. Yeah, he's a, he's so the monster. cool thing is people dig and I've noticed uh, people that work on the movies really seem to dig because it doesn't happen in I don't think any other movies but literally within like the first week you'll get to see scenes cut together. So, you know, oh. Kevin will be like, hey, you know, I'm trying to think of whoever. Johnny, come see the scene you cut, you know, that you shot a week ago. Here's that scene cut together rough, you know. With, <laughs> so people, I mean, you know. Is that like an like, unconventional way of, or an unconventional yeah. way of. Inconventional. Inconventional. <laughs> not many people, not anyone that I've worked with definitely, and I'm not saying it not. Not that anyone else doesn't do it, but not many people edit and direct. Yes. Yeah, I just think he wants to edit his own thing, and yeah, he definitely digs editing. So I don't think many directors uh, direct. Are also uh, I mean, editors. edit. Yeah, edit their own <laughs> their own movie, and even if they do, I feel like they edit it at the end. I don't. They're like, look, I just worked twelve hours directing. I don't want to sit. sit and edit now for ten hours. Right. Um, you know, sleep for two. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Kevin. Can't help himself. So I like this question from a, who from are these people? 